for those of you that are interested in getting into riding a motorcycle but you figure you don't have a lot of money you want to get an inexpensive bike and you need to find cheap inexpensive but good quality motorcycle gear to keep you safe out here on the streets I'm going to tell you my recommendation for cheap but good motorcycle gear. Let's go for a ride! You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today! You know how I feel about riding without gear out here on the streets. It's foolish. It's stupid. Wearing gear is insurance for you. And I'll tell you guys that you don't have to break the bank to get good quality motorcycle gear. And I've had a lot of different motorcycle gear over the years. I mean, I've been motor vlogging for over, what, five years now? And I've had a ton of different helmets, jackets, pants, everything. I've had a lot of gear I've never even showed you guys before. But I'll tell you, we'll start it off with a helmet. I recommend that you go with, uh, if you're trying to save some bucks, go with the Scorpion R410 helmet. I did a full review on it. I've had it in the past. Uh, it does come in, in high vis, which is awesome. You know, I highly recommend wearing high vis. Better to be seen out here. It's, it's the cheapest line of the helmet of the Scorpion lineup. I've had almost all the different Scorpion helmets over the years. And I'll tell you guys, they all feel about the same. All the same comfort level. They flow about the same air. Just, I didn't see one, where one was better than the other unless it had like drop down visor like I had on the Scorpion EXO 500. And, uh, but all of them, you know, were excellent helmets. But you don't need to break the bank and get go with a more expensive helmet with supposedly more features. R410 to do your right. By the way, I'll include all the links to everything that I've mentioned in this video in the description and comment section of this video. Uh, also, you know, you want I highly recommend wearing earplugs. I've done many videos on why you should wear earplugs out here, guys. Uh, it's the wind noise that causes hearing damage. It will cause hearing damage. And the longer you ride without earplugs, uh, you're going to be at risk for developing tinnitus and hearing damage. As far as a jacket, the go to cheap route but still good and effective at uh, help keeping you from breaking a bone or you know getting road rash is uh, the sea armor jacket less than a hundred bucks I did a review on it in the past I'll include a full a link to the full review video that I did on that jacket I wear it to this day I've had it for probably about a good four years now and I wear it with the WR250R. I've crashed off-road with the WR250R. I crashed in a parking lot, low-sided coming out of the woods, and I had some mud on my tires. Low-sided with that jacket on, it held up fine. Highly recommended. It has C armor protection in all the impact areas. I mean, everywhere, your elbow, your freaking everywhere. And even has a back protector on it, and, but it flows a ton of air. And if you want to add visibility to that jacket, do what I do and wear a dirt bike, a high-vis dirt bike jersey. And uh, also you can wear an oversized hoodie with it or a jacket or whatever. You can put over it, but you have to get it probably like two or three times bigger, the hoodie, to put over it. But I'll do that sometimes. I'll throw a big oversized hoodie over it. As far as pants... I would say pants um, go with some uh, Liat knee and shin guards and wear that underneath a pair of Kevlar reinforced jeans that you can pick up fairly inexpensive like less than a hundred bucks um, and I'll include a link to some good quality uh, Kevlar reinforced jeans and the knee and uh, Liat knee and shin guards so when it comes to boots I recommend going with a good boots because if you go with cheap boots you'll be buying cheap boots every year man and I'll tell you the best boots out there that I recommend uh, are CD 
fusion boots are they're not I wouldn't say as far as it's the lower line of the CD boots but they're excellent it's uh, the CD fusion boots I've been rocking those since 2012 I just retired them this year over five years in service man and the uh, the zipper finally broke after five years but the, the soles were still pretty decent I tell you you want to spend extra money on a good pair of boots though your lay your 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 feet and your ankles the stability everything you need a good pair of boots for your feet if you value your feet now if you don't value your feet <laughs> and you don't care about uh, and you don't value walking then can get you a crap pair of boots but like I said you get cheap boots you'll have you end up buying them every year so it's it's pointless just get you good pair of boots 200 bucks and they'll look I got 500 five years out of $200 pair of boots man you know that's that's good value uh, I also I went ahead and I upgraded to the CD trial zero boots which are about $130 more than the CD uh, fusion boots uh, which they're trial boots but I use them as a hybrid for street riding and riding off-road with my WR250R. They're excellent hybrid boots if you want to ride both bikes so you don't have to have two different pair of boots and they're they're it, they're very comfortable too. Great boots. Now as far as gloves these gloves have been discontinued uh, these Icon gloves uh, but I can recommend the Joe there's a pair of Joe Rocket gloves they're not leather but they have all the reinforcement in the palms and fingers and everything that you need. They're comfortable and they come in, more importantly, or I shouldn't say more importantly, but importantly, they come in high-vis, which I highly recommend high-vis gloves because I feel like you should do hand signals. And when you do hand signals, your, your hands are going to be seen clearer to a car if you're wearing high-vis gloves. And they're high vis gloves that are all high vis like these are very hard to come by. You don't, there's not too many of them out there. Uh, so those Joe Rocker runs, they got, it, they got, it's got an excellent review on them. So, but yeah, guys, you definitely want to be wearing gear. Don't skimp on the gear. Don't be like these fools out here, these squids riding with t muscle t-shirts and t-shorts. These guys have not gone down. I can guarantee you that because if they had gone down, if they would not be squinting. They'd be wearing <laughs> gear. Don't be hard-headed, man. Wear the gear. And as far as my helmet camera setup, uh, I'll include a video to that that'll go more in detail on that to show you how to set it up, the microphone and camera on the helmet. As always, like I said, if you go to my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab, uh, my gear, that's a listing with links to all of the gear that I have. So you can go there anytime. I always keep that updated. Uh, and if you want to see more of my videos, click on the menu tab, my videos. Uh, all my videos are categorized in the various playlists and hopefully you can find something that will inform you or entertain you. Hey, hit thumbs up. If you like this video, share this video with your friends and let them know you don't have to pay a fortune for motorcycle gear. So until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Hey, don't forget to check out my other YouTube channel that features the original Bug Out Moto van that is designed and built by yours truly so that I can live in my van with my motorcycle. So hey, check me out at youtube.com forward slash Bug Out Moto. Subscribe today.